Hey tech fans, I've been using Technity MDNS Server, Pi-hole, AdGuard Home, and NextDNS for a while now. And throughout these months, I've been learning how to tweak settings, testing performance, and seeing how they fit into my life, whether I'm securing my home network, protecting my kids' devices, or staying ad-free on the go. So let me tell you, each one has its own vibes, strengths, and quirks, and today I'm here to help you find what's best for you. First, I'll walk you through what each one does, share my experiences, and compare them to help you pick the right one. I'll wrap up with my personal favorite and why it's my go-to. Plus, I'll have a comparison chart at the end for a quick overview. Let's dive into my journey with these DNS powerhouses. First up is Technetium DNS Server, an open source cross-platform beast I've been using on a Linux server in my home. It's not just an ad blocker, it's a fully fledged DNS server that can act both as an authoritative server for custom domains and a reclusive revolver for secure internet queries. I set up local domains like lab.mynetwork for my IoT devices, which is a game changer for home lab enthusiasts. Technitium supports DNS over HTTPS or DNS over TLS and DNS SEC, keeping my queries encrypted and private. Its ad blocking comes from customizable block lists, which I tweaked to zap domains like ads.google.com network wide. The web interface is a techie's dream with detailed query logs and analytics. I could see exactly which devices were hitting ad servers. Setup took me a couple of hours though, as I had to configure upstream revolvers and block lists manually. It's not beginner friendly, I needed to brush up on DNS basics to get it humming. Once running, it's low maintenance, but updates occasionally require config tweaks. I love Technitium for its flexibility, like creating DNS zones for my test servers, but it's overkill if you just want ad blocking. If you're a DNS nerd or run a home lab, Technitium is your playground. Next is Pi-hole, the open source DNS sinkhole I've had running on a Raspberry Pi for over a year. It's my go-to for simple, network-wide ad blocking, and I installed it in under 30 minutes, pointed my router to its IP, and boom, ads vanished from my TVs, laptops, and phones. Pi-hole uses community block lists to filter out domains like doubleclick.net, and I've added custom lists to block specific annoyances. The web dashboard is clean, showing me that 25-30% to 30 of my network's queries are ads or trackers, blocked instantly. Pi-hole is free, lightweight, and open source, so my data stays on Pi. I paired it with my Unbound for Recursive DNS, but out of the box, it lacks native DOH or DOT support. Maintenance is minimal, just update block lists and the Pi's OS. However, some apps like YouTube on smart TVs bypass Pi-hole by hard-coding DNS, which is frustrating. I've had to tweak router settings to force traffic through Pi-hole. It's perfect for home users who want to set it and forget its solution without breaking the bank. My family loves the ad-free browsing, and I appreciated the community support on forums. Pi-hole is the people's champ for good reason. AdGuard Home is my current family favorite though. Running on a Docker container on my NAS, this open source DNS solution is like Pi-hole but with a sleeker interface and extra features. It blocks ads, trackers, and malware using block lists, and it supports DOH, DOT, and DNS over quick for encrypted queries right away. Setup was a breeze, about 20 minutes to get it running and my router configured. The dashboard is gorgeous, showing per device query stats and block domains in real time. What sets AdGuard Home apart is its parental controls. I've set filters to block adult content and enforce safe search for my kids' tablets, even scheduling restrictions during homework time. It's also cross-platform, so I could run it on my router if I wanted. However, I've hit occasional bugs after updates like slow query responses, which required restarts. Like Pi-hole, it struggles with DNS bypassing apps, and it needs hardware to host. AdGuard Home feels polished and family-oriented, balancing ease of use with powerful features. If you want Pi-hole simplicity with a modern UI and kid-friendly controls, this is it. Finally, we have NextDNS, a cloud-based DNS service I've used on my phone, laptop, and home router. Unlike the others, it's not self-hosted, just pointing your devices to NextDNS servers. Just point your devices to NextDNS servers, and you're set. I was up and running in 5 minutes, no hardware needed, NextDNS blocks ads, trackers, and malwares with over 100 filter lists, and I customized it to block social media on my kids' devices during school hours. The web dashboard is slick with real-time analytics showing blocked queries per device. NextDNS supports DOH, DOT, and DNS SEC, and it works every time. Home, Wi-Fi, mobile data, or coffee shop networks. The free tier, which is 300,000 queries per month, covers my household, but I upgraded to the $20 per year plan for unlimited queries and AI-driven threat detection. The downside? It's cloud-based, so I have to trust NextDNS's no-logs policy, which bugs my privacy nerd side. It also can't resolve local domains, so it's useless for my home lab. Still, NextDNS is a lifesaver when I'm traveling or need ad blocking on my phone without a VPN. It's the ultimate set it and forget it option for mobile users. Let's stack these up across five sectors. Setup complexity, features, privacy, cost, and use case fit. 
Pi Hole and AtGuard Home are beginner friendly, taking 20 to 30 minutes to set up on Pi and or Docker. Technitium is a beast requiring DNS knowledge and 1 to 2 hours to configure recursive resolution and block lists. Next DNS is the simplest, just update DNS settings in 5 minutes, no hardware. The winner? Next DNS for plug and play ease. Technitium for those who love a challenge. Technitium for features, Technitium is a DNS powerhouse with authoritative resolution, local zones, and encryption, DOH, DOT, DNSCC. PyHole excels at ad blocking but needs add-ons for encryption. And AdGuard Home adds parental controls and a modern UI with native DOH, DOT, DOQ. NextDNS offers extensive filters and mobile support but no local DNS. For this one, the winner is Technitium for DNS flexibility and AdGuard Home for balanced features. When it comes to privacy, Technitium, PyHole, and AdGuard Home are self-hosted and open source, giving me full data control, perfect for privacy hawks. NextDNS's cloud service requires trust in its no-logs policy though it's encrypted and GDPR compliant. PyHole and Technetium edge out for their community vetted code, and for this, the winner is PyHole and Technetium for maximum privacy. When it comes to cost, PyHole, Technetium, and AdGuard Home are free, but if you but you do need hardware, like a $35 Raspberry Pi. Technetium might demand beefier specs for advanced setups, though. Next, DNS's free tier suits light users with a $20 per year paid plan for heavy use. For this one, the winner is definitely PyHole for the lowest cost and NextDNS for free tier convenience. But who are these actually for? What use cases do they fit? For home labs, Technitium for its DNS, Technitium for its DNS server prowess, and for simple ad blocking, PyHole for ease and affordability. For families, AdGuard Home with parental controls and polish, and for mobile and travel, NextDNS for device agnostic simplicity. Each shines in its own niche, so it depends on your priorities, control, simplicity, family features, or mobility. After months of testing, each tool has earned a spot in my heart, but one stands out as my personal choice. Technitium DNS server is my go-to, and here's why. As a home lab enthusiast, I love its flexibility, setting up local domains for my servers and IoT devices while blocking ads network-wide feels like magic. The encrypted DNS options like DOH, DOT, and detailed analytics give me control and insight I can't get anywhere else. Sure, the setup was a slog, but once configured, it's a set and forget powerhouse that handles everything from my test environments to my family browsing. That said, I get why others might choose differently. If you want dead simple ad blocking on a budget, PyHole is unbeatable. My family enjoyed ad-free streaming for pennies, and for my parents or anyone craving a polished interface, AdGuard Home is a gem with parental controls that kept my kids' devices safe. And if you're always on the move or hate managing hardware, NextDNS is a no-brainer. Its cloud-based ease saved me on public Wi-Fi more than once. No tool is perfect. Technidium's learning curve might scare off beginners, and PyHole struggles with DNS bypassing apps, AdGuard Home has additional update hiccups, and NextDNS requires trust in a third party. Your choice depends on what you value, total control, simplicity, family features, or portability. Check out the comparison chart below for a quick breakdown and visit each tool's website to dive deeper. I'd love to hear which one you're leaning towards, so please let me know in the comments and let's talk about it together. Thanks so much for watching this video on the CNS adventure. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this and want more videos like this one, and I'll see you in the next video.